Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this movie. It's about the EOT Pro end of trend indicator. That's what our website happens to be named after, actually, is, is this indicator, the end of trend, EOT Pro. It's actually three indicators rolled into one. It's only really, you know, let's talk about the blue line first. The blue line, it's only really important when this indicator is at a high. Because it's telling you that the trend may be over, 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 and it hooks down. Okay, the trend is over. That's why it's called end of trend. Here's another example here where we've come down off of a move. This indicator comes up to the top indicating, okay, the trend may be over, may be over, may be over. Okay, it's over. The blue line looks at longer term moves in the market. The longer term cycles. The red line, the red dotted line, looks at the shorter term cycles, the shorter moves within the long moves. And something interesting happens when these two um, when these two indicators intersect one another, and, and, and that's what this magenta is right here. And just on, on this move right here, you can see the shorter term cycle coming to a high and then hooking down in conjunction with the longer term end of trend. And you can see this area turn magenta. Well, I mean, that just happened to nail the bottom. Here, we're not at the bottom. We're very close to the bottom. Let me show you some more examples. Um, here's another little move here. We're at the bottom. Here's another little move here. Very, very close to the bottom. Very close to the bottom. Um, let me see. Here's another little move here. Very close to the bottom. At the bottom of this move. At the bottom of this move. The short-term cycle indicator does a good job of, of, picking the, of picking the ends of the moves if you don't want to be holding for these pullbacks. You know, some people don't want these pullbacks against their positions, and that's okay. That's okay. We, I don't like holding for pullbacks either. The third component of end of trend are these green dots here, known as GVALU. And these green dots, which can also be red, indicate that the market is highly overextended. It's a completely separate indicator. We just put it on the same subgraph as end of trend. And um, the GVALU indicator, again, indicates the, the market is highly overextended to the downside. Because it's green, you know, you're going to have a reversal up. And when these two indicators are, when the end of trend, long term, short term, and the GVALU is plotting, it's a pretty good indication that you're going to have a reversal in the market, just as we did here. Let me just look for a red one. Here, here's a red one right here, where you can see this up move is very highly overextended, and we had some sideways consolidation and then a down move here. Um, here's another red one here, where we had some sideways consolidation, and then finally the down move here. Um, we had... Uh, some overextensions here to the downside and then an upside move. We had, here's another end overextended to the downside or retrace up and then more downside. We had, um, oh, Marcus has been horribly choppy lately, hasn't it? We have had a big move down here and then an overextension period here where we had a retrace and then more downside. So the end of trend does a good job of helping us to determine you know some people don't like to get into moves or into trades when the end of trend is at a high they only like to get in when end of trend is at a low some people use the end of trend to help them decide when a good time to get in is for example you know that the cycle or the end of trend, the short term and the long term end of trend are at a low here. You know that in order for you to get out, the end of trend needs to be at a high. So the logical course of action to be would be to get in when the end of trend indicator is at a low, near 20. Some people like to use the short term end of trend in conjunction with the long term end of trend. When the long term end of trend is at a high and it's green, 
you know that you're in a trend. The trend could be over at any moment, but the short-term cycles come down to the bottom. You could get in here, you could get in here, and you could get in here. That actually, the the term trend hijacking was coined by one of our customers who, who used to do that all the time. Works very, very well in, in good trends, in long trends. So that's a general overview of the end of trend indicator available through www.eotprolive.com. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye.